Hello everybody and welcome to All Ages Storytime. My name is Pearl and I am joining you from the Ross University Hills branch today. And I have a super cozy, yummy story to share with you today. I am just so excited. But before we get started, why don't we sing our hello song just like we always do. And for this one, we're gonna wave our hands back and forth just like we're saying hello to a friend. And we'll sing. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Very nice. And if you've been joining me for story time for a while, you know that when we ask, how are you today? We like to think about it and give a real answer, huh? So why don't we check in with ourselves, see how we're feeling today. I'm gonna start by closing my eyes. Please feel free to join me. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And just start to notice how my body feels. Right away, I can tell that I'm wiggly. Oh, I'm feeling so wiggly today. I have a lot of anxious energy. So I think I'm feeling a little anxious today. A little on edge. Hmm. I wonder how you are feeling. If your grown-up's with you, maybe you can turn to your grown-up and let them know how you feel in your body today and ask how they're feeling. Or you can just tell me. Very nice, everybody. Now that we've checked in with ourselves a little bit, let's go ahead and finish our hello song. For this, we're gonna clap our hands and we'll sing. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands, clap your hands today. Well done, everybody. Now it is time for our story today. This one is called Masala Chai, Fast and Slow. And on the cover, I see a little one and a grown up. And it looks like they're cooking something up together. I wonder what they're making. This book is by Rajani LaRocca and it's illustrated by Neha Rawat. So let's take a look, see what's going on with the yummy chai in here. Arab loved his tata very much, although they were as different as water and molasses. That is interesting, as different as water and molasses. Now I know that water can flow smoothly and quickly like a river. Molasses, if you've ever seen it, it's kind of like more syrupy. It's thick and slow and kind of goopy. Tata shuffled. He sauntered, he strolled. Ara ran, he rushed, he raced. Which one do you think is water? And which one do you think is molasses? I think Ara might be the rushing water and Tata might be the slow molasses. Tata dressed deliberately, so carefully. Ara put his pants on two legs at a time. His feet aren't even on the floor. <laughs> That's so silly. Faster, faster, cried Ada. Slowly, slowly, said Tata. Tata was the best at telling funny stories, taking afternoon naps, and making delicious masala chai, which he did every day at five o'clock. Can we make it faster? asked Arav. Masala chai cannot be rushed, said Tata. It must be made carefully. Well, let's see how it's done. Tata heated milk and water in a pot on the stove and scooped in tea leaves. Arav helped add spices. Slowly, slowly, said Tata. There go all those tasty spices in the pot of heating chai. Mm -mm -mm. Arab knew the masala chai was ready when it turned a warm brown and filled the kitchen with a wonderful scent. Mmm, I can just imagine the smell of that wonderful spiced chai. 
But one day, when Tata reached for the cardamom pods from a high shelf, he slipped off the stool. Uh-oh. When he tried to get up, he couldn't stand on his foot. Tata had a bad sprain. He couldn't saunter, shuffle, or stroll. Poor Tata hurt himself. And that means Tata wasn't just slow. He was completely still. He didn't tell his stories. All he did was nap. And he couldn't make masala chai. Which is so sad because we know this family looks forward to their chai at five o'clock every day. I wonder what they'll do about that. Arav had an idea. Maybe he could make masala chai himself. He'd been helping Tata for so long, he was sure he knew how. And what would make Tata feel better than a cup of warm, spiced sweetness? Arav couldn't wait. Daddy helped him gather ingredients. Arav dumped everything into a pot, picturing Tata's face when he tasted it. But all he made was a big mess. It looks like all that tea is splashing out of the pot. I think Arav might have been in a bit of a rush. I know he likes to move fast. <sighs> so Arav tried again. Mommy helped him heat water and milk. He scooped in tea leaves and then strained them out, just like Tata did. But he didn't let the leaves steep long enough, so the chai looked too pale and just tasted like milk. Yeah, that's not so satisfying when you want some spicy chai, huh? Arav tried again. Good for him. You know, he had two rough tries. They didn't go so well, but he's trying again. This time with Patti's help. He hopped around the room while he waited for the tea leaves to steep. Now, you know, I think that's really smart. If you have a hard time waiting for something that's taking a long time, then maybe you can get your energy out with a little jump in. Skip around. It's a good strategy. This time, the chai was the right color, but it didn't smell right. Uh-oh, he had forgotten to add the spices. It wasn't masala chai. <sighs> this must be so frustrating. But then he remembered what Tata had told him. Masala chai cannot be rushed. Huh, it must be made carefully. So let's make it really carefully this time, let's see. Adav measured milk and water into a pot. He put it to heat on the stove. Once tiny bubbles appeared at the edges, he scooped in dark tea leaves. Do you see those teeny tiny bubbles as the milk starts to simmer? It takes a while, you've gotta wait for it to get that hot. Then one by one, he added spices. Five cardamom pods four cloves, three slices of ginger, two black peppercorns, and one cinnamon stick. That sounds delicious. Slowly, slowly, said Adav. He waited patiently while the chai simmered and steeped. What do you think? Is it gonna turn out right this time? I'm feeling hopeful. Soon, he saw the warm brown of the masala chai and smelled its wonderful scent. It was ready. Arav and his helpers strained the masala chai. They added sugar and mixed it in a milky ribbon, just like Tata always did. Oh, that sounds so good. What do you think Tata thinks of that chai? He looks pretty happy to me. This is perfect masala chai. Tata said, I feel better already. Everyone stayed still and sipped the warm spiced sweetness. Masala chai was worth slowing down for. And so was Tata. That's really nice. Look, they're going for a walk together, even though Tata's foot is hurt, so they might have to move a little slower, huh? But that's okay. It's nice to move a little more slowly sometimes. It seems like Arab learned that too. The end. Wonderful reading, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed that story. 
And grown-ups, if you're with me, one reason why I really like this book is because not only does it have a great emotional story, a good lesson, but also it teaches us how to make a cup of tea, right? That's so cool. What a life skill. And when we learn these things through reading, when we learn things that we didn't know before, like how to make a wonderful cup of masala chai, we are building background knowledge. That means we're learning what things in the world are and how they work. And when we build that background knowledge, we have more information in our bank to understand the things we read in the future. So the more you read books with rich information now, the stronger a reader your child would be when they're picking up their own books. So I've got a little rhyme in the spirit of building our information bank today. This one's called Here's a Cup. It's a really simple one. We're just gonna share a pot of tea together. And it goes like this. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup, pour a cup, and share a drink with me. Mm. That's a super fun one, especially if you've got maybe a baby or a younger toddler with you to help move their hands and share that cup of tea. Should we try it one more time? Here we go. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. Pour a cup, pour a cup, and share a drink with me. Mmm. And if you want, you can imagine that sweet, milky masala chai. Mmm. And a little bonus in the back of this book, if you'd like to check it out, the author even gives you a step-by-step -step of making your own masala chai so you can try it at home. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me for story time. I had a wonderful time sharing this book with you and doing a little rhyme. So much fun. Now it is time for us to sing our goodbye song. And just like our hello song, we're gonna wave our hands back and forth like we're saying goodbye and we'll sing Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you so much for learning and reading with me. I hope the rest of your day is fabulous, filled with books and fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.